what's your understanding of Eric's uh, Eric's song that he's piecing together? Have you had any sense of uh, what it what it is, or have you heard any uh, chords, or uh, or or did you get any wind of of the fact that he wrote it? Uh, I kind of I heard some rumblings about you know some some stuff that he kind of woke up and recorded some things that you know we were flying back i kind of heard in the background he and coop discussing some things but i haven't heard i haven't heard any uh any any lyrics or, or anything about it yet so this is kind of i didn't know i didn't know i thought i didn't know it was about this trip i thought it was maybe about something else so you broke the news to me i thought i heard a little bit of, of something on the on the way back i never i was trying to get a little bit of sleep because i knew i was uh coming back to reality when I got back. So I, I'm not as up to date on that, but no, I mean, there's no doubt about, it. you know, when Eric goes on a, on a trip like that, the times I've been around, I mean, he is there to get away from, from the music for a while. I don't have anybody in my life that's better at being where their feet are than, than him. He is, he doesn't look at his phone for, a, for the longest amount of time. He, he's not one of those guys that, subconsciously texts and doesn't even realize he's doing it he is so present at all parts of his life and i i've taken a lot from that and he is especially good at that when he's disconnecting from his professional life um you know there there have been a few times where he's felt uh the moment was right to pick up a guitar in a in a private setting and, and play something but it just never really presented itself on the trip and I'm glad it didn't it just he was he was all about the golf and it was all about the you know the fellowship and he was he was one of the eight guys on the trip which he deeply appreciates and and I'm I'm so glad that he does um but yeah you're right he, he doesn't typically do that and um part of the reason why is because he is so good at being where his feet are I mean, you can spend your whole life looking for inspiration, right? But when inspiration hits you, that's when it kind of all comes together. And I think that's what happened for him. He, uh, you know, when you're in these incredible backdrops of the mountains and golf courses and the North Sea and, and these things, I mean, any human being is going to be impacted emotionally by that. And, and, you know, how does it affect you? And for him, he's a creator, he's a songwriter, he's a musician. And so, um, I think just like it impacted all of us in a different way for him, he was inspired by it. You know, it, it spoke to him. Um, he wasn't looking for it. it. It it came to him. Oh, when I got up Wednesday morning, because we got Tuesday night into Newcastle, um, Eric had written a song that he was inspired by the mountains and went to Percy French, and which he does, you know, what Eric does, and sent it to me. And I woke up and he had the song and I was like, holy fuck. It was unbelievable too. I mean, dude, Percy French is this writer and it's the name of our restaurant there. And like, he wrote this whole thing, which is like, he's a whatever cyborg. And it, it's insane. You have to ask him about it. He's not going to spend the time to write something and record it and, and put that idea into a, into motion unless it's, you know, powerful enough to, to become a song that ends up on an album. So whether it turns up or not, there've been a hundred songs that are, brilliant they just don't ever turn up on the album because it's you know whatever for whatever reason but uh but yeah i think it's something special you know he's kept it pretty tight to the cuff but uh it, it's good he he did share a few things um with me uh the the morning after we were at royal county down <laughs> um I, I was blown away by it but um i'll let i think that's his story to tell but um i'll I'm interested to see what comes of that. It was a place I'd never been in. I'd never seen terrain like that. We're in a castle. It had just a vibe. And I didn't mean to do it. It wasn't something that I sat down and just it all of a sudden started. And I thought, I even tried to stop it. I was like, no, no, I'm not doing this. And it just kept going. And I finally, you know, it was late at night. I was jet lagged. So who knows what that means. But I, I got up and started, you know, got out my iPhone and just started recording i had the full song by you know i sent it to some people the next morning i'll send you like a little bit of it i'll just i'll just record it and it'll be i'll, I'll just record me playing it and you, you do what you want to do with it 
I'd say this sky looks tonight like Edgar Allan Poe. Drew a black like death from an icy breath that freezes out the cold. There'd always been something about these hollers that gives you chicken skin at night. Makes you wrap yourself in your bed and pray for the morning light. And her telltale heart beats under my floor, and the hound of the Baskerville hound. And my real of old Amos Moses out on a midnight prowl. This ain't no place for the living, and the living won't be found. It gets kind of crowded out here all alone when you ain't the only ghost in town. You ain't the only ghost in town. Yeah, sometimes lost souls have to haunt with nobody by their side. No boo Radley behind the door, no Robert Johnson deal to slide. Just a witch in our lantern and that gunpowder Civil War smell. Yeah, when the trumpet sounds were crawled out of the ground, but for now it's all to hell. And her telltale heart beats under my floor, and the hound of the Baskerville hound. And my real of old Amos Moses are out on a midnight prowl. This ain't no place for the living, and the living won't be found. It gets kind of crowded out here all alone when you ain't the only ghost in town. You ain't the only ghost in town. Eric Church, ladies and gentlemen, can't thank him enough for an exclusive rendition of Ain't the Only Ghost in Town, brought to you by the inspiration of Northern Ireland, Mountains of Morn, Edgar Allan Poe, and the setting that is Royal County Down. 